This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448-526-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448-526-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-943. 5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's m e l i s s a dot m c k i n n e y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, mail station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot k u l a k o w s k i at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project runs nearly one and a half miles on US 41 or Williams Street from north of the Citrus County line to Southwest 110th Street in Den Ellen. The goal of this project is to improve safety throughout the corridor, reconstruct the intersection of US 41 and County Road 484, and to extend the life of the roadway by resurfacing US 41 within the project limits. Currently, the corridor consists of two travel lanes in each direction with either left turn lanes in the middle or raised medians. There are paved shoulders on each side of US 41, as well as sidewalks on both sides of the road. There are no marked bike lanes. In addition to repaving this section of US 41, the project proposes some safety improvements along the corridor. This project is broken down into four typical section designs. In the first segment, from the beginning of the project, just north of the Citrus County line, to just north of Ned Love Avenue, the layout will remain the same as it is currently. 11-foot wide travel lanes, two-way center left turn lanes, and 5-foot wide sidewalks. The 4-foot wide bike lanes on both sides of the road will be marked for bicyclists. Segment two, which runs from north of Nedlove Avenue to just south of Powell Road, will also remain the same as it is currently. 10 and a half foot wide travel lanes, 16 foot wide median, and four and a half foot wide sidewalks. Again, the four foot wide bike lanes will be marked for bicyclists. Segment two will have one change. 
the reconstruction of the US 41 and Pennsylvania Avenue intersection. The entire intersection will come under signalized control. The island and the free flow right turn lane from Pennsylvania Avenue, Southwest Highway 484 onto northbound US 41 will be removed and a designated right turn lane will be added, creating a total of three lanes at that intersection. Also, the driveway to the shopping plaza on the east side of Pennsylvania Avenue will be reconstructed. In segments three and four, from south of Powell Road to north of Southwest 110th Street, the travel lanes are currently 12 feet wide and the marked bike lanes are four feet wide. There is also a 22 foot wide raised median and five foot wide sidewalks on both sides. The difference between the segments is the existing posted speed limit. For both segments, the project is proposing to restripe and narrow the travel lanes from 12 feet wide to 11 feet wide. The narrower lanes will help improve safety by encouraging safer driving speeds. The marked bike lanes will widen from four feet wide to six feet wide. The five foot wide sidewalks and the 22 foot wide raised median will remain the same. Other proposed improvements on this project include safety upgrades at the signalized intersections of Pennsylvania Avenue, Powell Road, Brooks Street, and Southwest 110th Street intersections, including improved crosswalks and sidewalk curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Design is underway for this project and is anticipated to be complete in summer 2024 at an estimated cost of $945,000. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin late 2024 at an estimated cost of $3.8 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 13th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448-526-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kathleen.enot at dot.state.fl.us. That's K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N dot E-N-O-T at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5149 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 448 526-1 in the search box at the top right and click go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by March 13th. Have a good evening.